hello if you have clicked uh, this video this video if you just followed my thumbnail then you'll know that i am going to give you an opportunity to possibly use your work machine laptop into a silent environment without bothering the people around you because maybe you have a machine that has the fans that run like horses so the way we solve this and even better more likely to work if you have a 4000 series Ryzen machine is, well, you know, to open the command center and put the comfort mode on. Thank you for watching. What you want to do is obviously put the comfort mode on, but on top of that, because obviously comfort mode does sometimes just with the fans, but if you want to avoid that, then you want to keep the temperatures down by doing something more, and that is to disable turbo boost. What am I talking about? Turbo boost is simply the CPU has a base clock that has a boost clock. CPU will try to go to boost clock whenever needed, but it also does it when, I don't know, it's also idling for some reason, I don't know why. But by disabling the turbo boost, what we do is uh, prevent the machine from going up to too high of a clock speed and therefore um, reduce the speed of the processor but that's fine because if you are sort of working in a silent environment you're likely to be in a library or next to your partner in bed and you don't want to wake your partner do you? So I will give a link in the description below on how to remove that um, or how to disable the turbo boost. Don't worry, it's not permanent. You can enable it or disable it to your own liking. Yes, I'll show you how as well. But I will not show you how to enable uh, the first place because I don't want to take credit for someone else's video. No. So yes, after that I am going to test out my theory. My theory is I'm gonna run uh, Cinebench because that seems to be the only benchmark I work with but I'm going to launch Cinebench and uh, start it a few times in series to see at what point at what point this bloody machine starts going boom yes let's do it all right so I have here my temperature monitor which is simply CPU monitor. Is it CPU monitor? What is it called? What is this thing called? It's called Open Hardware Monitor. Yes. Okay, I've got uh, Omen Control Center open. Comfort mode, as stated. Fans in auto mode, not max speed, because otherwise there is not much point in what I'm talking about right now. And another thing, it's the Turbo Boost. So let's check that's off. So obviously the video that uh, I will be leaving the link up below, in the comment section below explains how to enable this option in this menu here. So changing advanced power settings. So when you open this, I think yeah, process some power management. This thing here doesn't actually appear until you activate it. So go and watch the video if you haven't done so and then activate it. And then I'm gonna put this in disable mode. So I disable the turbo boost, so boom. So this is disabled. I have a graph here showing temperature. So temperature right now is between 20 and 40 degrees, so it's just about 30 here for both CPU and GPU. Um, computer is doing nothing right now, so CPU clock speed is like nothing. Not nothing, you know, it's, uh, it's there. Power drawn is here. It's not, it's not bad at all, it's less than, less than 5 at the moment, 5 watts for both GPU and CPU. I'm going to run Cinebench in series a few times. This is one of my previous runs. And uh, let's see at what point the fans actually come on. And every time I run it, I'll obviously show the thing. So let's go. This will be a time lapse. So Boom. So yes, now the first test is finished, the little pause that I realized my battery was not... Oh shit, okay. My battery here was not on charge, so I put it on charge now. 
Um, so expect that result if it's not on charge because as you can see when it's not on charge it doesn't even try to reach the base clock, it just stays there. Whereas now, now it's plugged in, it's you know it's going all over the place. But that's fine, it's still lower, much lower than the 4.2 gigahertz that we want. So the peak temperature reached is about uh, 50, 50, 57 here and yeah now it just goes back down and it just idles at 40 it was 20 was it 20 before no 30 okay 30 so it's now idling at 40 just finished the test the fans have not gone off so let's continue second batch Boom. So the fans have come on now at this point. No. Never mind. Temperatures have plummeted down. Okay, so it wasn't for long. And you could hear it, but to be fair, I'll be honest, this is quite some uh, heavy workload. If you just go to the library and use Word, really. Where is Word? You just go here. Oh, it's not my name. Don't don't believe that. It's not my name. Super type. Um Yes. So if you just use Word, Word, obviously you are not going to um, use the CPU as much as this. This is literally just pushing the cheap CPU up to its limit. So my guess is, as soon as it approaches between 60 and 65 degrees, uh, the fans kick in. So. If you live, if, if you can keep the fans or the temperature of the CPU low enough, then obviously the fans will not go on. And I'm actually surprised by how much power is delivered here to the CPU when the fans are not on. So yeah, pretty good. So yeah, if you're using this computer, make sure that if you're using, uh, I have good cooling here, but if you're using Ryzen CPU, especially the the the, uh, the one without dedicated GPU definitely going to see a difference so we've seen the results the fans have come on on the second test uh, by pushing the GPU to its not the GPU the CPU to its limit um, so what's my take on it my take is if you're writing something like a Word document or you're just browsing you're not going to use 100% of the CPU especially not 8 cores to 8.2.8 gigahertz so expect the temperatures to stay down and the fans to not come on at that point this problem mainly applies to gaming laptops but because obviously you get a higher wattage on the CPU if you have the smaller um, the smaller if you have the smaller laptops, the one with the, the U series of Ryzen, then uh, you should be fine because um, the wattage to the CPU is lower and therefore the temperature will not shoot up as much. Although the cooling is not as good, is it? It's fine, just try it out, you know, it's, it's, it's a trial and error. Yeah. So yes, thank you. Um, I, I hope you find this information useful. If uh, if you have a gaming machine, surely you don't want it to just run wild the whole time. I suppose you won't be if you're, if you're a student. That is, you won't be gaming all the time. So it's obviously useful to have a machine that doesn't have fans going on all the time. So I hope you find this video useful. And yeah, comment, maybe give a like or dislike because you know that got that too and yeah subscribe is this what rock bottom feels like